once you see this, I will have already been in North Carolina. That's right. So we have a few shout outs to do. Um, we have a couple of more cancer birthdays. Melissa Thompson, another cancer birthday. Happy belated birthday, July 6th. She turned 23. Happy 13th birthday to Philip, the geek one from Instagram. Okay, then we have a couple of welcomes and check out channels. Lisa Rants. We've already welcomed her to our channel, but she has an awesome channel about her whole story of breast cancer survival. So go by and check out her channel and listen to her story. It's got some ups and downs, but it's a great story. Uh, Derek and Lisa, L-I-Z-A, welcome to the neighborhood and go by and check out their channel. They're a pretty awesome cus couple. Nada da. Did I say that right? Nada da. Nada da. Welcome to the neighborhood. Family Tree. Welcome to the neighborhood. They were sent over by Angie Lupus Life. Thank you both very much. Jasmine Ellis. Welcome to the neighborhood. Lucy Owl, she wanted to get to 100 subs. She is now a little over 100 in subs, Yay. but she's going to put together a vlog including some of her subs. So if you are subbed to Lucy Owl, make sure you put together a short little clip of something and send it to her. And if you're not subscribed to Lucy Owl, what's wrong with you? Get over there and subscribe. She's awesome. Oh. Yeah. Okay, and now we have a few thoughts and prayers. Uh, Katie Caroline and Rex 25059, their grandfather has to undergo surgery. Um, he is gaining weight, but losing it. I'm not exactly sure what she means. I think she means he's eating and eating and eating, but can't gain any weight. So he's losing weight. So he's not getting any nourishment whatsoever and an update on their uncle who is now cancer free yeah. and again thoughts and prayers for my family i'm leaving today to go to north carolina to be with my father who has bone cancer and my sister did go through her heart surgery and everything went fine with the surgery she is now running some fevers and they're keeping close eyes on everything with that so thoughts and prayers for my sister karina my father fred the lone wolf i would greatly appreciate that okay so my last week's question was approximately how many dvds do you own and what genre is the bulk of them I'm only going to pick five people to read. Greg Myers, approximately 213, and most of his are horror. Bella Luna, she has 500, but that's because her family gave that her most of theirs. Only 75 are hers, and hers go in order of rom-coms, stupid comedies, and then classics. Vincent Gutierrez, 150 to 170. They go in order of horror, Disney, and then comedies. The Abyss, 92882, about 175 to 190. Wrestling, and then horror. I didn't know they made DVDs about wrestling. Um, I'm sure they make them about everything. They're probably, you know, serious stuff. And then, of course, there's the wrestlers that do horror. Yeah, those, I, I mean, I know, like, The Rock is in a lot of movies, and he was a wrestler, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And then, this one surprises me. Not, not the person, but the, the fact that, let me go. Tammy Alexander. They collect DVDs. They have approximately 900 DVDs, 
and they have an actual program that keeps track of their DVDs. She sent me a link to that program. That's amazing. That's amazing. I, I, I got to tell a story. Before DVDs came out, and it was all VHS, my dad used to record movie after movie after movie on, D, on the VHS. And some of the VHSs would hold two, three movies. And he would put labels on each one, what movies were on each one. He would keep a notebook of each movie. He would number each, DV, each VHS with which movies were on them. And if you wanted to borrow a movie to, or a tape to watch a movie, you had to sign it out. And then when you brought it back, you would have to sign that you brought it back in. And you couldn't take another one out until you returned the one that you had. Okay. <laughs> and you wonder why I'm OCD. <laughs> so my question for today is... Wait, you didn't talk about us. Oh, I'm sorry. How many DVDs do we have? Approximately. Oh. Maybe 300. I'd say about 300. And what is the, the main genre? The main genre, of course, is horror. However... We have a lot of series. We have <clears throat> series like Angel, Buffy, Charmed, The Big Bang, Smallville, 70s Show... And we do have a few rom-coms and dramas, but also disaster movies. I know, I know, it's weird, but I like watching disaster movies. They're good. I like them. I'm weird. I'm weird. Ever like since that. Irwin Allen. You ever heard the name Irwin Allen? No. Who's Irwin Allen? Uh, there's a next question for you guys. Not, not his trivia, but that's another question. So anyway, my question for today is, when you are packing to go away, as I am right now, how do you pack? Do you pack light? Do you pack heavy? Do you pack at the last minute? There's your question. And why? Why do you do it the way you do it? Yeah. Let me know. Yeah. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. For a while, so let's make it worth it. Hey, beep, beep, oh. beep, 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 honk, 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 e, e, e. beep, honk, honk. Go ahead. Are you sure you're done? Well, I'm not gonna be able to do it for a while, so I have to make it worth it. Uh huh. Okay. Last question was why the movie Body Parts 1991 with Jeff Fahey. Why was the advertisement for this movie canceled in the state of Wisconsin? And the answer is, uh, they had just arrested Jeffrey Dahmer for all of his bizarre murders and body parts all over his uh, house and his refrigerator and blah blah blah. So uh, they were a little sensitive to that kind of thing. So they still showed the movie, but they uh, pulled all the advertisements. Um, and the ones who got that right was Terry Johnson, Tanya Lonely, and the Miss 92882. Woohoo! Today's uh, question is the movie Species from 1995. This is just a little odd question. Uh, starring Sir Ben Kingsley and Natasha Henstridge was her first movie and had Forrest Whitaker in it. Now, Forrest Whitaker played a character named Dan, and there's a scene where he's talking to his therapist, and there's a sign behind does the sign say? It doesn't talk. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> there you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community. Each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all very, very much. Thumbs up. Make sure to go by and check out all our other stuff, especially our PIN channel. We have some exciting stuff coming up on there. And we will see you all next week for another shout-out. Bye! Bye.